Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about what roots do. Well, you know, when you think about the roots of a plant, you're thinking about the below ground portion of the plant. In most cases, there are some roots that come out above ground. And when you think about those roots, pretty much most people would just say, well, they take in the water, don't they? Isn't that Water and thing? nutrients. Yep, they bring in water and nutrients. And the other thing is they help stabilize the plant. And those things are true. So don't discount that. But what we wanted to discuss here today is roots do a lot more than that. Well, when you think about plant roots, Here's one of the things that a lot of people don't know. They actually excrete things into the soil. Now, I'm not talking about just their waste or something like that. What I'm talking about here is, first of all, organic acids. What plant roots do is they will put out organic acids into the soil to try to make nutrients more available. So there are nutrients that are attached to the soil, for example, and they're tied up on that soil pretty well. So the plant roots have to excrete those organic acids to break those nutrients free so they're able to suck them in and most cases well, with water. What it pretty much comes down to is in soil there's a lot of good stuff. There are a lot of nutrients in there and a lot of them are just unavailable to plants. They aren't in the right form to get into the plant. So roots will put out these acids to help turn them into the right form so the plant can bring them in and use them. So that's a great thing. Well, it's not always just the plant making them available and bringing them in. There are other organisms in the soil, like bacteria and fungi, that will help bring those nutrients into plants as well. So the other thing that plant roots will excrete into the soil is carbohydrates. They'll put out some sugars to try and attract those beneficial bacteria and fungi around that root system so they can help bring nutrients into the plant. So the plant roots are, I'd like to say smart, Brian, that they're, <laughs> they're working with the other biological activity going on out there to try and work together and bring nutrients in. Yeah, so for example, in a soybean crop or in a lot of legume crops, the plants will excrete these sugars and then they'll get bacteria that will colonize on the roots eat the sugars and they'll take nitrogen out of the atmosphere and turn that nitrogen into a form the plant can use. So it's really a very complicated process, but in effect what ends up happening is a lot of these legume crops like soybeans get a whole bunch of free nitrogen just for kicking some sugars out into the soil. Sounds now, like a good deal. Now you know the other thing that I hear a lot, Brian, is in the summer when things get dry, well the roots are going down there looking for water. Well yes, they need to bring water in, but the other thing that people have to keep in mind is that plant roots, as they're pulling water water in, what they're really trying to do is pull in food with that water. And when they get down deep, deep, deep in the soil, maybe they're several feet down in the soil, there aren't a lot of nutrients down there. Mostly there's just some water. And so as plants are pulling that water in, trying to get the right amount of food in the hot part of the summer, they'll be very inefficient users of water if you don't have the right plant food out there. And I realize fertilizer that word, for some reason, for the non-farming public and non-gardening public, gets a bad name. Like, fertilizer must be some sort of chemical, yep. but what it really is is plant food. So it's important whether you're raising a garden, growing a good lawn, or raising a crop in a field. They have the right food out there for those plants for them to be efficient in the whole process of pulling in water, feeding soil bacteria and fungi everything. That whole system one, doesn't yeah, work. Okay, so one last thing that I wanted to talk about with roots is when you look at a plant above ground, like let's say a corn plant, and you see some corn plants that are 10 feet tall, they're huge. Did you know that the plant has just as much mass below ground as it does above ground? So in other words, there's a tremendous amount of root mass below ground, and if you don't develop that proper root mass, you don't have the water and nutrients, you don't get all these other things going with the soil bacteria and fungi, you don't raise a great crop because the smaller the root system, the smaller the overall plant as a general rule. Well, plant roots are very, very important to farmers, gardeners, and even for your lawn. So you need to keep those things in mind. But one other thing that will help those root systems really thrive is good weed control. We'll start by showing you our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 